Well, hello there, friends. Very short little video today, a lemon curd. I know you can buy them at the store, but you can't buy at the store what you can make at home, friends. It's very simple to do. You're gonna love it. For a custard, for a dessert, for a lemon tart, anything. If you like lemon, lemon curd is for you, friends. Ah, mmm, very lemony, delicious, just the way I like it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making lemon curd together right now. Okay, friends. Well, let me show you my way of doing it. It's pretty simple. And, uh, and you can keep it in the fridge for a week, 10 days, maybe two weeks. Uh, if you got to make a special dessert, Lemon curd is fantastic. You can buy it. Like I say, you can buy it, but it's not that difficult to make. I got four yolks and two whole eggs. Two whole eggs and four yolks. We're going to put um, uh, some lemon juice. I got two-thirds of a cup of sugar. I got the zest of four lemon. Okay, that's about, um, I don't know if you would have calculated in a tablespoon deal, it would be at least uh, two big tablespoons of zest. Three, four lemon. Look, you can't have too much of this, okay? If you have too much of it, if it's too lemony, <laughs> that cannot happen, all right? A touch of vanilla, just a little bit of a whoop, boom. Measure carefully. I said a teaspoon, somewhere around there. Touch of sugar. And then we're going to mix all this up, friends. And then normally what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to cook this in a bain-marie. Bain-marie meaning a water bath. But you know, not everybody has the, uh, the wherewithal of doing it a bain-marie. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a low burner. Now, my stove, you know, I got this uh, uh, stove on steroid here. My burner, burners are so big, they're too big. They're too, they're too difficult. So what I do is I have this electric burner. Yeah, this is good. Most of you have electric burner at home. And I put it on simmer. Simmer between simmer and low. Okay, and I'm going to put this in here. And then we're going to add the lemon juice to this. And we have two-thirds of a cup of lemon. Lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. Fresh, fresh lemon juice, friends. Now, I have a lot of them left over here. So this you got to mix all the time, friends. Otherwise, you get scramble eggs. For those of you that have made a hollandaise before the old-fashioned way, in a bain-marie, that's the same principle. We're going to cook the egg. Not really complicated. Nothing is complicated. You notice that, friends? Nothing is complicated. So now what we're going to do, you want to do this at a very low heat, friends, because if you do it at high heat, you're going to end up with scramble eggs. And you want to mix, and when you do this, this is going to take a... It could take anywhere between five and 10 minutes, depends the heat you're having. You want to keep mixing, 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 mixing. You see, no, no, no. don't be doing anything else when you do this. <laughs> you stay right there, and you have yourself a glass of wine, and, uh, and you keep mixing. It's not complicated. You're going to cook it until it starts to thicken. Okay, and then at the end, yes. We're going to put some butter, friends. So when it's all nice and thick, we're going to strain it, and then we're going to add some butter. And that's what's going to make the lemon curd. So instead of a lemon marmalade, it's a lemon curd. And it's got butter on it. You know if it's got butter, it's going to be good, right? So friends, I don't want to make the video too long, because, um, but I, I'm going to use this. You can use it in so many desserts. The next place I'm going to use it in is going to be my uh, uh, lemon shell tiramisu. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen that recipe, it's right on top of it. So we're going to continue cooking it, friends, and then we're going to strain it to make sure it's nice and smooth. And, and since I'm going to use it on top of the tiramisu, or top of my dessert, you can use it for lemon tart, you can use it for so many different things. I want it to be smooth as silk, that's why I'm going to strain it to a fine strainer. So, friends, I'll see you in about uh, five minutes, five, six minutes, when it starts to thicken. In the meantime, you keep doing this. 
And you'll know, you'll start thinking that you cannot stop. And very low heat. You can, and it's such, such a low heat that you can actually put your hand in there. Okay? All right, we're going to continue cooking it, friends. I'll see you in five minutes. Okay, friends, so it could take a, it could take a certain amount of time, but don't, don't panic. If uh, after five, six minutes it's not cooking, you can increase the heat a little bit, okay? Uh, I still want it to be hot, but not too hot. Otherwise, you're going to have a tough time. You see it right there, friends. It's starting to thicken. You see? It's starting to thicken. See right there? Yep. It's starting to thicken. Well, that's what we want. Now, very important at this point, I'm lowering the heat to very low. Because it's really easy at this point to have scrambled legs. <laughs> You see, it's starting to thicken. When you almost see the bottom, you see, look, look, look. If I do it fast enough, you can see the bottom. Can you see it, Jack? If Jack can see it, you can see it. There we go, friends. That's it. I don't want to overcook it. So you see, with the electric burner, it was a lot easier to do, to do friends. Mix it up really, really good. Now the burner is off, it's just the remaining heat in the pot. And it is going to thicken a lot more as it cools. All right, friends? Don't want to overcook it. It's cooked enough. You see, it's nice and thick. And now what I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to strain it. I'm going to strain it because I don't want uh, those, um, uh, those uh, uh, lemon zest uh, to create a non so smooth texture. So on, uh, since I'm going to be using it for a topping on a cake, but if you're using it for a stuffing inside of a cake, then don't worry about that. Don't even strain it. It's okay if it's not looking smooth as silk. In my... Uh, uh, the uh, next recipe that I'm going to I'm going to use it, Mamma Mia. I am going to, <laughs> uh, I'm going to need a very smooth. And now I take my ladle. Remember I showed you that trick, right? It's really a cool trick, friends. When you have a strainer like that, take a ladle and rub it, and all of the solids are going to stick to your ladle. You watch. Say so squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And oh, and this is, see, look, look. you see? All of that stuff right there, friends. So now you want a double mesh strainer, eh? double mesh. So it's very smooth, right? And now we're going to clean, take a clean spatula. We don't want to bring anything. Take a, a clean spatula. And, uh, and now we're going to put the butter. And now put the butter in there, friends. And, uh, and the butter. Uh, remember, when you have acid, in anything, what can you use to offset acidity? One is sugar, lemon, sugar. What's the next one? Fat. <laughs> My favorite fat, kind of fat is butter. <laughs> Mix it up really good. And now we're going to refrigerate it. And as it refrigerated, it's going to be a lot thicker. You'll see it. I'll show you when it's a finished product. But I like to do it, uh, leave it in the fridge for 24 hours. So I'll show you in 24 hours what it looks like. Oh, stick around. We got to, we're going to spend 24 hours together. <laughs> look at, look at, see, see how beautiful it is? Look at this. Smells amazing. So now at this point, friends, you could do a little testing. Do a little testing and to see, is it too acid for you? Uh, and if it is, then you can add a little more sugar. I like it exactly like this. Lemony, uh, not too sweet, uh, but it's really up to you. At this point, this, nobody can tell you. Your pilot is going to tell you. So now what do we do here? I don't want it to get a crust on it. So what I do, friends, I take my plastic wrap, and I take a little piece of plastic that I'm going to put on top of the curd. Not on top of the bowl, but I, I can do that also. But I want to put it on top of the curd. So I go like this, 
and I make sure it goes on top of it. Otherwise, what happens, friends, it gets a crust, and, um, and then you can't get rid of it. So you put it like this, right? And then when it's cold, you remove it. Nothing sticks to it. I'll show you. I'll show you tomorrow when I do it, because I don't have another one made. I'm just going to use this one. So I'll just finish recording this tomorrow, and then we'll take it out. Now, you could also, if you wanted to, to be on a safe side, put another plastic on top of your bowl. Put it in the fridge and put a big do not touch. I see you guys tomorrow. That was easy, right? See you tomorrow. Okay, friends, it's best if you wait 24 hours, if you got it. Otherwise, at least a few hours, I was not gonna set. You take the plastic out and you see, look, comes right out, right? Take the plastic out, you don't get anything on it. And, uh, and what you have is a delicious, delicious lemon custardy, uh, lemony, this is fabulous for dessert. You put it in a, a lemon, lemon tiramisu, if you're gonna make one, I use it in there, it's fabulous. You put it in a, in a lemon mousse, you put it in a lemon, a lemon cake, anything, it's fabulous. Put it, just take a, 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 a yogurt and put a couple of spoons in it. If you love lemon, this is it. So, it's up to you. Mm. It's very lemony. I like a little acid. So if you don't like that acid, put a little more sugar in, that's all. I like the lemon. I really like the lemon to come through. I think you're going to like making it. Remember, the one you buy at the store is good in the fridge for 17 years. The one you make is only good for 10 days, two weeks. Okay, so remember, you make it for a dessert. You make it for something you're going to use. You don't keep it in the fridge for more than 10 days, two weeks at the most, all right? Friends, I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching.